Hi guys, welcome everyone. Thank you for tuning in. How is everyone? I know there's no one technically on yet, but I always think it's weird when you go on to a live and then and then they don't say anything. <laughs> hello, hello. Is anyone out there? <laughs> How is everyone? Saturday night. Fun to be had. Hello. Let me guess. Who's the first one in? Is it Lynn? Is it... Okay, they're not saying anything yet, so... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Gosh. I need it. You know what, you guys? I need to color my hair for sure. <laughs> needs to go darker or needs to go lighter? One of the two. All right. So today, if you guys aren't familiar, so these, this, I'm saying this as, um, you know, if you're not familiar with my channel, because sometimes people watch the replay. And um, if you're not familiar with my channel, my name is Creative Lori. That's my channel name. And my dad is a gemologist. So I am selling his jewelry. Um, and so right now I have a bunch sitting in front of me and I will show that as soon as a few more people hop on. And uh, um, maybe I should have posted it on like Facebook, but I keep trying to do that and I can't do it. I don't know. I don't know why. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, let's see, let's see. And I am also um Um, sorry, I had to read a message. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. I think, you know, it's weird because sometimes when notifications don't go up right away. But I do have, um, let's see, I think I can go on and share this with you all. Okay, let's see how. How shall I share it? Um, there we go. I don't know if I did it right, but <laughs> anyways, guys. So before people get on, hi, Gianna. How are you? Thank you. There was someone else on, but I think they decided to leave because they're like, no one else is on here. <laughs> I scared them off. Um, but I wanted to reiterate what I said yesterday about my challenges that are coming up. Both are for decor, but everyone's invited as far as um, jewelry side. And, you know, if you're non-decor, if you're a subscriber, everyone's invited. So, okay. So I will definitely jump into... Gianna, what size are you again? I, I forgot. Hi, Francis. How are you? Got my kitty mug. Um, I can't remember. Okay, good, because I do have a bunch of 10s. And I have a bunch of jade, which I love jade. Oh, my gosh, did you guys see that jade? Um... They were uh, the zodiac signs in the Chinese zodiac um, in jade. They were in white and in green jade on the MSP auction today. Loved them. I wanted to bid so bad. And then I thought, nope. I mean, it was really hard, you guys. <laughs> really, really hard. I It took everything in me not to because um, – 
I really wanted, I really wanted them, but I have, to, I have a goal I have to meet this month and I got to do, oh, Gianna, look, I forgot. I'm wearing your earrings. Oh. And the only thing I could think of to wear it with was this black and white necklace, but I think it looks pretty good. I probably need more of a pink necklace. Thank you. I love them. Thank you so much. And they're signed <laughs> by the one and only Gianna. Yeah, I really love them. They're so pretty. I, I don't know if I have them facing the right way. Is the yellow supposed to be on top? Is that supposed to be north? Let me see. I got, oh, you did? Oh, good. White, oh, white on top. Okay, there we go. Let me tighten it a little bit. There we go. Yes, 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 yes. Love them. Love them. Thank you. So white on top. That makes sense. North is cold. What's the uh, south? Oh, yeah, red. Makes sense, right? Hot. And then west, yellow. Dry, that makes sense, I'm thinking. And black, what does black stand for, anything? Rise of sun. Oh, yes, that makes perfect sense now. Black, nighttime, okay. Hi, Anna. White, what does the white mean? What does the white and the red mean? It does look nice with a necklace, huh? Oh, I wonder if Gianna got timed out. Oh, no. White is north. Winter winds. Okay, yeah, we don't like the north. Nope. And what does the red mean? I have to write this down because I want to remember. Winter winds. Red south hot lands. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Love them. Thank you so much. I just love them. Look how pretty you guys. Let me get really close. And sorry, you can see my grays. I'm going to probably color my hair tomorrow. I didn't have time today, but. Aren't they just beautiful? Oh, let me get closer. They're so pretty. It's probably not the right colors that I'm wearing with it today, but with olive but i nothing else that i had clean was available that went with this so i was like oh well i'm wearing it <laughs> i love it thank you thank you okay so what i was saying is that if you all want to participate in the challenges that we're doing on my decor channel you guys are welcome to you can be a subscriber you can be a YouTuber on the jewelry or decor. Send me your thumbnail, your pictures, and send me like two. Go visit my channel and look at the channel and I explain it. And um, if you have any issues with taking pictures and sending them, let me know. My email is all there too. Hi, Thelma. Oh, thank you. I was just talking to Gianna. I'm like, I didn't have anything to wear with her earrings that I got from her so I put it with this one and uh, it is for sale because I think I want to go with a pink necklace and maybe I'll get one from Gianna um but it's all seed bead it's just a fashion necklace but it's you know Native American inspired but it does have brass brackets here and they have little turning beads in the brass brackets which they're square and I love them so I am selling it. It is black and white. So here's the white. And then it goes to black. So pretty, huh? But I just thought that her earrings look so pretty with it because I didn't have anything else in pink. And I thought, oh, good Lord, I need to get some more pink, I guess. <laughs> so thank you. So if anyone's interested, this one, it's from the 90s. It's just a fashion necklace. But it is brass right here. Um, I don't know if you can see. I'll take it off and show you guys. There are little beads that turn. So nice. 
So this one, it's a lot of work that goes into the seed bead. Um, I'm so itchy, you guys. I'm sorry. My Everything seems to be itchy. My face, even my scalp is itchy. It's allergies. Isn't that pretty? I love, I'm wearing the wrong top, but I just kind of wore what I was wearing to work today. I had to meet a client and I didn't put this on. I didn't wear this out. I wore a different necklace, but I wanted to wear these earrings today on the live. I need to get a pink necklace, but isn't that pretty? So do you see the beads? They turn and they're brass. So it's all seed bead. It's just a fashion necklace, native inspired. But I'm going to sell this for 20 if anyone's interested. Isn't that pretty? It's a pretty big necklace. I don't like it as much on me because it's a, it runs a little shorter on me and I don't like shorter necklaces on me as much right now that I've gained weight. So thank you. I'll show you the beads. This is my favorite part. Where is it? They turn. I know you can't tell, but they do. I just think it's pretty. All right, so that's that necklace. Oh, I'm so itchy. I'm so sorry, you guys. Now I'm not going to put it back on. But <laughs> I will put on a different necklace. Maybe I'll put on this Chico's necklace. So I have this Chico's. It's stainless steel. It has a tag on it. And... Yeah. Isn't that pretty? It's a big, chunky necklace. And it's got, it looks like it's supposed to be, look like, you know, black onyx. And it's got the little Chico's original tag, retail tag. And then it has the Chico's tag, hanger tag, a big lobster clasp. And I love how it fits your neck because it, it fits here and it goes in, and it comes down really nicely. It was originally 55. You know, Chico's is kind of pricier, but it's really well worth it, to be honest, because they, like, cold water, Chico's, all of those just seem to be a really nice, um, you know, retail store. Can you see how it goes in? It's so pretty. Anyways, I'm going to sell this one for 15 If anyone wants it, you can resell online. It's got the little hanger tag. Oh, where is it? Right here. Lobster claw, Chico's, 55 And it's really pretty. I could try it on if you guys want me to. Anna, did you want it or are you just saying, yes, it's pretty? <laughs> That's okay too. But see how it goes in like that? Brian, my tenant is home and the puppy hates Brian. Model it. Oh, model it. Okay. Gotcha. Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's see. It's a great thing about a big lobster class. Hey. Okay, see how it goes in, fits in around your neck, and then it kind of just has that normal drop and then that big chunkiness. Killer puppy. <laughs> He's such a pill, isn't he? <laughs> Come here, buddy. Be quiet. Yes, you did your job. I know. He's under here like, did I do good, Mommy? Hi, Susan. How are you? So I'm going to leave this on. And if someone wants it, then great. <laughs> uh, gosh, I really need to color my hair. I realize that now. It. I mean, all my white 
is just flourishing. Oh, well, what do you do? Okay, so I had that one that I showed for 20. And the one I'm wearing is 15. And, okay, let's get started on maybe, oh, let me show you abalone, and then I'll go with jade. And let me scoot back a little bit. Okay, and I have coral and some um, southwestern style. Um, this is an abalone shell and sterling silver little cross, which I love crosses. I just think they're, I think, well, I, if you're either religious or believe in God, you know, it's a nice thing to have, I you know. Um, it's beautiful in the front and the back. Not that anyone sees the back, but hi, Pat. Isn't that pretty? So the abalone, it's all silver. Beautiful cross. What do you call that design? I would say it's just scroll work. And the bail matches the scroll work. Isn't that pretty? And the back is really pretty equally. So you have the same design on the back of the bail. And it's just pretty. And it's stamped. Let me make sure. Yes, it is stamped. Isn't that pretty? I mean, as pretty as backs can be, I suppose. <laughs> and, oh, these tags. That's why I, I just want to rip them off. Isn't that pretty? So there's no chain, but I'm going to be getting more chains from my dad. But I don't have them right now. It's going to be a week before I get more chains from him because he's going to Nevada um, sometime in the week. Anyways, this one is 30 if anyone's interested. And I'll get close, up close and personal. Sorry, $30. I just started, Pat. Good timing. Isn't that pretty? 30 on that one. And you know, abalone... They restricted it here in the U.S. for two years, and my brother-in-law used to dive for it. I guess he won't be going on that trip this year. Shh. So that one's 30. <laughs> All right, let's go into the jade. And then they have some different stones that I don't think I've shown you guys before. Um, okay. So, and if you hear heavy breathing like that, it's more, it's the kitties. They're all sick. They have, they all have a cold and it goes from one to the next, to the next, to the next. And it's viral. So you know how that works. It's like having kids. They've never, this has never happened before though. Poor things. No notification. Really? Shoot. Okay. Well, can someone post it on somewhere on Facebook? I don't know where. <laughs> Somewhere in the Facebook land. <laughs> Thank you if someone can. <laughs> okay, this is a Burmese green jade. So Burma has excellent jade. They're just known for their jade, you know. And um, it's in sterling silver, nickel free. Hey, Becky. You just got it. How weird. And we're. All, I know. I've been getting my notifications late. Oh, sorry, you guys. Um, so this is sterling. So thank you for joining. <laughs> um, sterling silver, nickel free, of course. And it's 7.99 carats. So it's almost eight carats of jade. That's a lot of jade. And it's that dark green jade, which I love. Um, <clears throat> so it is, um, I'll read it from up here. It has a gorgeous band. And let me put it on. It's a size eight. The band has scroll work on it. Uh, let's see. I'm going to take it off for a second. Scroll work. All around the band. 
It's open back, as you can see. You can see how pretty the green jade is. Beautiful silver. Then it has the normal silver bezel around the jade. And then the typical, um, it's got the roping, the rope style around it, and then the little beads, which each one has to be put on. That is a lot of work, you guys. And you know, you've seen Sandy do it. You have to put each bead on individually. So that is at the bottom. Can you see that? That is a lot of work. <laughs> it's a size eight, beautiful band, a lot of work, beautiful color of jade, and it's from Burma, which is nice. Okay, this one is 50, and I'm gonna put it on and show you. Let me take my ring off. Isn't that pretty? Size eight. Thank you. I like the band too. It's just pretty. It's a big piece of jade. That's the thing, it's a big piece of jade. And for 50, that's really good. And it's Burmese. Okay. So there's that one. Sorry, you guys, I'm so itchy. And uh, almost eight carats. It's basically eight. It's 0.1 away from eight. But it's an eight, yeah. <laughs> oh, Pat, I think I have. Um, so if you are interested in jade, I have a size six and a seven and a five. So you wanna see the green five first? <laughs> so now this is probably bigger than what you're used to as far as, you know, style, but this is a five. It's um, artisan made, it's Burmese green jade, and it's in sterling silver also. And it's 8.82 carats because it comes with the pendant, which they match exactly. So that's, it doesn't fit me obviously because I'm not a size five, but that's the ring. So when they match, when they make two like that to be a set, they'll take it from the same host. And so that black that you see is oxidized silver and it has the typical bezel and then those little beads that I was talking about that have to be put on individually. That's the pendant, matches the bail matches. And then this is the back. Nice, pretty silver stamped. And same with the ring, it's open in the back as well. Okay. Um, this one's a size five. And this set is only 75 if you are interested. 75 for the set. And it's Burmese. Oh, I know. Oh, I should have texted her, huh? <laughs> yeah, what time is it? It's nine o'clock. Is that too late to text someone, you think? Let me text her. And if she comes on, I'll just tell her. Um, sorry, you guys. I, I, I always think it's like crazy when people get on their phone and <laughs> while they're on a live. Um, let's see. I'm on live if you'd like to join. Okay. I hope that's not too late. Um, okay, so that's that one. It's a size five. The next one is uh, 
I know, but you know what? She's married and has kids, so I don't know if that's too late. You know what I mean? I, I would try to be respectful, you know? Um, you know, especially, like, if I know someone is, like, three hours ahead, I try to be respectful of that, too, because... <laughs> You know, so I have gotten texts from people three hours ahead and I'm like, I'm three hours behind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this is the same exact style, but it's a size nine. So size nine for any of you ladies who are a size nine, which I can wear a size nine on my ring finger. Same thing. This is 8.82 carats and it is... The ring with the scroll work and the matching pendant. 75. <laughs> Are you serious, Jonah? Oh my gosh, that's so funny. So same thing on this one. Such pretty silver in the back, a lot of silver. So you're getting two pieces, guys, remember. And it's a size nine, which most of us are between eight and nine. 75 on that one, same exact style. Okay, so I have a five and a nine. <sighs> Your poor husband was like, what the heck? All right, so I have, now I have two in the same style as well. Um, but this one is actually a red one and, oops, what's going on with my hair today? It's like, <laughs> I had it up and so it acts weird once, you know, once I take it down and I don't know what it's doing. Um, okay, this one is Burmese red jade. And it's got a little different style. I would say it looks more hmm, East Indian, maybe, especially with the red jade. And it's um, also artisan crafted. And it's in sterling silver, size 6, 8.63 carats. So here is the ring and the pendant. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that beautiful? And then here's the back. A lot of silver. Um, this is a size six and it's also 75. So these, all these sets are 75, which is an amazing deal for Burmese jade, silver, and you get two pieces. So 75, that's the red. Now I have the same style in green and it's a size seven okay so same thing but this one for whatever reason is 9.11 carats and it's a size seven so it's a little more carrots than the red um and it's a size seven and that's in the green isn't that beautiful? Nice big cabochon. So it has that typical bezel. Thank you. And then it has all that scroll work. And actually, each of these dots, I don't know if you can tell. See how the artisan, the work that goes into it, it's like a plate, right? You see Sandy make a plate. And then they put all that work on top of it. So I don't know if you could see the division. But all these little balls are individual. That's a lot of work. And the scroll, they're all on top of the silver. And then they oxidize the back, the backing. Same with the ring. Oh, that's really close. Same thing, same idea, 75 for that set. 
And then that's it as far as those similar sets. Thank you. Okay, what are you guys saying? Oh, the notifications. Yes. Yep. The sun. Yeah. That, the other red one. Yeah. I really like red jade, but I love white jade too. I'm uh, having a lot lately to me. I know. I, I don't, I get notifications the next day sometimes. Thank you. So that is a set 75. Okay, and that one is a size seven, and that's 9.11 carats for the two pieces. Okay, let's see. Let's go with this one because it's a different stone. I don't think you guys ever saw this stone. Um, it's called Toss Stitchite. Hey, Diane. Oh, do they? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Becky. You know what? I actually put, um, what is it called? Moisturizer on my hands. But it's funny you say that because you told me to put petroleum jelly on my nails, which this moisturizer has petroleum jelly. So I did do that. And they were very dry. So it does work. You're right. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, welcome, Diane. <laughs> okay, this one is Toss Stitchite, and um, it's, you know, it, I think people can um, misinterpret the stone sometimes for Jasper, um, but it's uh, Stitchite, and it has, I think it's only two diamonds, if I'm correct, in it, one on each side of the band, and it's platinum over the bond brass, which is ionized over the um, brass, so it's a heat treatment. It won't come off. It's not plated. It's a size six. And this is what it looks like. Isn't that pretty? So see how it's all like a lime green? It's a nice, nice cabochon. Cush cut, prong set, beautiful setting, wide shoulders, beautiful um, filigree underneath the setting. And I'll show you in a second. Isn't that pretty? Scroll work. And then on the sides, it's got embossing into the metal. Um, this is a size six, Gianna. And let me get close. There's a diamond. Okay, so there's a diamond one. Sorry, I'm jiggling around. I need to, you know what, let me bring this closer. And I'm trying not to knock off everything. <laughs> okay. There's a diamond here, up here. It's just a small diamond here. And then on the opposing side here, it's like a split shoulder or dual shoulder. All of the rest is embossing all around. And it's stitchite and it's beautiful. This one is only $40. Oh, no, kitty, you can't. Okay, you're going to oh, Okay. <laughs> My kitties. All right, so size six. Yeah, sorry, Gianna. But it's beautiful, isn't it? I love that chunky pillow cut stone. And the fact that it's like a beautiful setting like that. Oh, it's so pretty. So let me show you the underneath. Like a stained glass window. And then the filigree underneath. Isn't that beautiful? That's like a beautiful setting. It doesn't look right on my finger because it's too small. But... It is gorgeous. I love lime color anyways. And I like hair dough, but I like a solid stone better in the lime green, if that makes sense. And it's just beautiful. Okay, 40 on that one, you guys. All right, let's get into some larger sizes because, um, well, 
a lot of us wear larger sizes. <laughs> mm. Toss, T-O-S, stitchite. Like you're stitching, stitchite. Stitchite. I have another ring in it somewhere. I, I was trying to find it earlier. Hi, da oh, Daisy, I got to show you something. Oh, yes, I have to show you, Daisy. I'm so glad you came on. Where did I put it? Hold on, hold on, let me think. Okay, Daisy, you know how you bought those Am Amazonite earrings, which I have in your package here. And I have, my dad has a stone almost identical to your earrings. And he said he would make a bracelet for you. So let me know if you like it, and I'll just have him go ahead and make it. Um, where did I put it? Let me grab. Hold on, guys, because I'm. I don't want to forget about this. My dad told me about it, so I don't want to forget. Uh, let's see. Daisy, Daisy, what package are you? Daisy, here we go. Okay, now where did the stone go? <laughs> all right, I know it's here somewhere because, <sighs> all right. Okay, Daisy, you know you bought these earrings that are like, I'll take them out of the packaging that I put them in, um, like this, right? And he has a bracelet piece that's almost identical to the same cut shape and bezel. So let me show you that. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm just so itchy. Where is that stone? Come on, little stone. Don't hide from me. <laughs> oh, let's put this up here. And so I thought, oh my gosh, that's almost a perfect match. I think she would like it. But I want to show you before he does it. And now I don't know where I put it. <laughs> oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay, so. No, no, no. Get down. Get down. Right now. Get down. You cannot be up here right now. Get. I don't know why. When he's sick, he always wants, or Anyone, when they're sick, they want to be close to mama. <laughs> but I'm sorry. you got to get down. Okay, let's see what are you guys saying. Okay, so your earrings. Now, the, the earrings are a little bit darker in color, okay? But the, your bracelet's going to be down here on your wrist. So that's your bracelet or your earrings. Here is the bracelet piece. Okay, and it has, it's like a um, marquee cut. So, oops. It has um, little thingies on each end, loopholes. And you don't have to say yes. I mean, I'm just going to have him make it anyways, and you don't have to buy it. You don't have to like it. You could say kick rocks, Lori. <laughs> But it, he's going to make it into a bracelet to go on the wrist, kind of like, you know, where you could hook it and unhook it kind of thing, like a cuff bracelet, I guess. So I wanted to show you that. Okay, I'll show you. But I just wanted to show you the color difference. It's, it's different, as you can see. But, and the shape is slightly different, but there, I mean, it's, I couldn't believe it. You know, you don't normally find stuff like that. Now this is smooth and this has, um, it's cut like a marquee on top. So I will let you know, and let me put this back in your package. <laughs> okay, but I'm glad you came on because I really wanted to show you that. Before I forgot. Okay, so let me put your package back together. All right. Okay, and let me put it back here so I don't lose it. 
All right, so good. I'm glad you liked it. So we will for sure have my dad make it. Alrighty. Okay, the next thing I was gonna show you guys, um, okay, let me show you these bracelets. What is it? I it, it would be pretty, yes. Okay, now I have three of these and I, I think they're beautiful. <laughs> now I, I like copper, I like bronze, I like all of that. I don't like yellow gold, but everything else I do like for the most part. Um, this is a little modern bracelet and it's a cuff and it's made of bronze and it has, oh, I just think it's so pretty. And you can adjust it to whatever size you are. It has mother of pearl with the modern squares slats. It's in bronze. And then the mother of pearl and the, the beading that goes around. I think those are, oh no, that's roping. I'm sorry, it's roping. Thank you. Isn't that pretty? With the mother of pearl and the bronze. I think it's beautiful. I think the bronze looks and rose gold looks beautiful on all skin tones, whether you're fair or if you have, you know, if you're, you have color to your skin and it just looks beautiful. Anyways, these are 35, you guys, and they're solid bronze. And then that mother of pearl there. And I have three depending on if you have a small wrist or not, I, I made this one a little bit bigger for me, but it's like silver or gold. You can bend it. So I have three and I just made this one look larger to fit me and it's bronze and it's, I love mother of pearl and it's a thick piece of bronze cuff, very modern. And these are 35. I'm watching your guys' comments, so. <laughs> oh, it does look like a watch almost, huh? You know what? I have a Mother of Pearl watch that I got when I was 17 when I graduated. And I got it in Hawaii. And I should wear that with this. Wouldn't that be pretty? I like it that it looks modern, too. Okay. So 35 on those, and I have three of those. And I'll show you how they look small, unbent, because I had to bend mine to obviously get it on. Isn't that pretty? And it's thick, very thick. Okay, so that's that. Then... I did show this next piece before, and let me, oop, let me take this piece off that I was wearing. Um, hold on guys, let me, let me get this all situated. I have some turquoise too I wanna show you guys, but first, there we go. Um, well, this is turquoise, and I did show you guys before. Let's see, let me put it right here. So this is a necklace and the matching bracelet. It's all. Now I have it kind of like a close, you can extend it out. Um, and then it has a bracelet, which is also super chunky. It's all turquoise. I don't know. There we go. And it is stretchy. But it's one, I don't know how many strands. I think five, six. One, two, three, four. They're kind of intermixed. They're like um, not just strands, but they're intertwined. I don't know if that makes sense, but you see that it goes like this. So for these two pieces, my dad did reduce it. This set is 60, six zero. 
Sesenta. Uh, how do you say that in Italian? I don't remember. <laughs> how do I say it in French? I don't remember. <laughs> I'm so terrible. But I did learn how to say thank you in all my languages that I'm supposed to know, which is thank you, Yokota, merci, gracias. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> Am I lagging, you guys? Is my page lagging? I'm just curious. I don't know if it's lagging. Let me know if I'm lagging. So, and these are nice chunks, but it lays so nicely. Oh no, okay, I'm not lagging, good. See how it lays so nicely? So it's not like this big cuff. It lays however you want it. And it's a pretty natural turquoise. And then the chunky bracelet also. So 60 on that one. And it's very pretty. Very, very pretty. And it does have an extender. So I can measure it. And I guess it should. I'm going to measure it without the extender and with the extender. It's kind of hard to do, actually. Okay, so it is... Seventeen inches without the extender. Then, if you want to extend it, oh, okay. If you want to extend it all the way, or partial, or whatever, it can go all the way up to twenty-one inches. So that's kind of nice. Twenty-one inches. It feels really nice on your neck, too. Okay, so 60 on that, guys. If you are interested, it's all turquoise. Turquoise chips. Big chunks. Beautiful. And the necklace. Okay. So pretty. All right, let me put this back though. I don't want it to get tangled or anything. Okay, the next thing, okay, sorry. <laughs> there we go. The next thing is, let me put this over here. All right, this, it's called the Lord's Prayer, and it's in stainless steel, and um, it is an eight and a half inch bracelet. So I guess either if you have a big wrist, but you can take links out too, or um, it can be for your husband or boyfriend or whomever. And it has the Lord's Prayer on the front bracket. Then it has the chain and the cross with it on there and the chain is 24 inches. So let me put it on a little mannequin. It's all stainless steel, so it's not gonna tarnish. It's a nice chain. So that's the chain, 24 inch. And then that is the Lord's Prayer on the cross. I hope you can see that. I know there's a little glare. Isn't that pretty? And then that's the back, and it just says um, stainless 316L stainless steel, which is a sign for stainless steel. So there's the cross, which you can clearly read it. Even I can read it. <laughs> and then the bracelet, it's just a, like a chain link. And then it's got the cross, and it also has the prayer on there. 
Isn't that pretty? So it's an eight and a half. So it could be, I mean, obviously for a man, but you could also wear it by taking out a couple of links, just like a watch. So you could take out maybe one to two links and you just take them out on the top part. There's like, you push them in, um, you know, just like a watch. Right there, take the links out. And it's a nice big chain or link. So this set is 30. Now, if someone wants to buy just a bracelet versus the cross or the cross versus a bracelet, my dad said that's fine. But I kind of like that they go together. <laughs> but that's just me. So it's 30 for the set. 15 each if you want one versus the other. Okay. Yes. <laughs> men's pretties. <laughs> I'm sure they'll like that. Um, men's. What, how would you say that? Men's. Um, uh, masculine niceties. I don't. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my gosh. Okay, so 30 for the set or 15 each, which I thought that was nice of my dad to split it up. Um, and it's all in stainless steel. Okay. <laughs> Men's pretties. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, I put that turquoise. Okay, hold on, guys. I put that turquoise necklace up here. Hold on. I like to put it back because I have everything labeled. Okay. There we go. All right. So if no one is no on these bronze bracelets, I'm surprised. I think I'm going to wear one for right now, though. It is pretty. I like the way it feels. Oh, sorry. I'm just organizing my stuff as I go along. Um, okay. The next thing is it now. This is a small ring. It's Southwestern Native American. Um, it is stamped. And it's vintage. It's probably from the 60s. Now, I did some research. The 60s, there were, were adjustable rings that were very popular, even in precious metals. So, like I'm wearing one right now that's adjustable. I might sell this, but I. it's also that, oh. <laughs> Remember I said I was looking for that ring that was in Stitchite? I found it. I'm wearing it. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Yes, very, uh, I love the plate. I love that. And it's stitchite, which I think is gorgeous. It is adjustable, but see how they used to do adjustable back in the day? It's different from nowadays. They're looped. They're not like, they don't pinch because... It's dueled and it's wrapped. So the edges are not sharp and poking. You know what I mean? It's beautiful. This is a beautiful ring. I'm not 100% I want to let go of it, but gosh, it is a gorgeous ring. If someone likes it, let me know. And I, I, I mean, I can't wear everything. This is like the first time I wore it. So, but I like that it has, look how pretty. Scroll. Gianna, are you interested? <laughs> this is a vintage one. It's so pretty. Let me see. Where did that other stitchite ring go? Because I want to show you the stone next to it. I don't know where I put it now. Oh, wait. Nope. I don't know where I put it, but anyways, it's beautiful. Isn't that just gorgeous? A beautiful plate of silver. Okay, so that's that one. 
but I wanted to show this other one. Um, this is a vintage ring also. And the, the turquoise is set in the little bezel that's a jagged, you know, bezel. And it's adjustable so it can fit. I think right now it's at a six, but I can adjust it. This one. This one, Daisy. Okay, hold on. Let me find my notes. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Okay. Stitch tight ring. This Carmen or Carmen Daisy. This one. This one is seventy five. If you're interested. It's okay, Gianna, I have so much. I mean, it's just a cool ring, you know? It's just one of those things that you just think it's cool. And it's my dad's money, so I don't want to mess with his money. <laughs> but it's really nicely made. So, okay. Gianna, anyone? If not, that's okay. I will wear it. It is pretty, though. Okay, this one, this little guy. Um, hubby says, I have nothing but Lori accessories. <laughs> Gianna, I need to meet your husband. <laughs> he... He's pretty observant. I will give him that. That's funny. Oh, is Buddy there, right, by the way? Buddy! I thought I saw a dog I had to rescue the other day, and I thought of you because I know you're looking for a small dog, not a puppy, and not old, old. And it turned out to be someone's pet. Thank God. So, oh, you have a headset on. Okay. <laughs> you're probably going, ouch, that hurts my head. So this little guy, it's also adjustable. Now this one's from the 60s. This one was probably from the 50s, and this one's probably from the 60s. So 50s, 60s. And this one was also adjustable. And see how that bezel, I love that type of bezel. You know, that little jagged edge. Oh, that's my, that's when you know it's, um, it's vintage for sure. And it's a nice detail. I can make it to my size, but I have it at a six right now, which fits my pinky. <laughs> Where am I? Okay. So if anyone's interested in this one, this one is 30. If anyone's interested it is vintage. It's from the 60s. And I have it at a six right now. And it I believe it's marked Hallmark in the back. Um, yeah, I forgot to look at that. Hold on. Where did my oh here it is. Hold on. Sorry, you guys. So it says sterling, and then it says something. It has the hallmark, I believe, but I can't read it. It says something for sure. It's a stamp. Let me show you guys. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but yeah. Okay, can you see that? So it says, hold on, sterling, 
and then something before the sterling, but I can't make it out. But it's comfortable, and if you want, I'll extend it, and I'll put it on as an eight. I'm going to say I wouldn't go an eight. I'm going to say a seven. This would be as far as I would go, and it would be a size seven. So size seven as far as I would go on this ring. Hi, Manji. How are you? <laughs> so seven on that. Isn't that pretty though? Okay. So I'll go no further than the seven on that one if you decide to get it. Um, let me put it. Oh. Okay. Where did the little baggie go for it? Oh. How do things get mixed? How do I misplace things when it's right in front of me? Oh, well, I'll put it here. <laughs> okay. This next piece, oops, this next piece fits me, actually. Um, it says, Mother, Daughter, Friends. I think I showed this once before. And um, it's silver. It's sterling silver, which, let me see. It's marked. It's a thin band. And you can close it to make it smaller. Um, it is, let's see. Point seven oh seven one grams of silver. Yeah. So it says mother, daughter, friends, and it's a sweet little band cuff. It's a cuff, as you can see. And I have it, you know, to my size right now. Obviously, I haven't worn it because I don't have a daughter, <laughs> but um, it's a cute, sweet little band to give maybe to your daughter or your mother, and it's oxidized, or is it oxidized? I think it is oxidized in the, cur it's cursive writing. Okay, and this one, can you see that? So it says mother, daughter, friends. This one is 20, if anyone's interested, and it's sterling silver. I did test it, and it is stamped. But sometimes I like to just test them anyways, just to be safe. Where, where is it? Oh, right here. Right next to my nail, right there. Okay. Um, if I had two more to go with it, I know, because, like, who do you pick to give it to? I guess your oldest, and then the rest get jealous. <laughs> That'd be terrible, huh? <laughs> okay, so that's that one. And, well, you could always do these. <laughs> oh, these pop-ups drive me crazy. Okay, the next thing. Not that. Let's see. All right. This is, what size is that? An eight. What size is this? An eight. Okay. For some reason, I put the tens away. I didn't think anyone was a ten. Um, but this is a um, Mozambique garnet and it's got the Cambodian. So this is like um, a very classic design. Um, it looks like the swag style I was showing yesterday, but it's a little bit different. This is Mozambique. It has a Cambodian zircons around it and it's platinum over sterling and it's a beautiful band size eight. 
Look how clean that looks. I love the style because it looks very clean and it shows off the main stone, which is the garnet. It's an African garnet. And like I said, the Cambodian zircons are excellent. And you can see there's a slight swag all the way around. And then there's like a little bit of um, embossing in the band. Isn't that pretty? Size eight. And it's 3.22 carats. And gosh, sometimes these get written so small. Okay, wow. All right, so this one is only 50, and it has the zircons and the Mozambique garnet, but I forgot to show the undercarriage underneath. Pretty. Scroll work, the filigree. Very clean. Look at all the zircons and the garnet, size eight. Oh, it's so beautiful. Okay, 50 on that one. Does that say 50? Yes, 50. 50 on that. Size eight. I think there was just a lot to write, and so. You okay, buddy? Oh, my kitties are sick. I feel so bad for them. Oh, okay. So I showed you some abalone. Now I'm going to show you some, and I showed you Mother Pearl. <laughs> now I'm going to show you the coral, which I have showed you guys this before, but I'm shocked that no one's bought it because, you know, you can't get coral anymore. And this has a very Art Deco look to it. It's in silver. It's a sponge coral. And it has a pendant with it, and it's beautiful. L yes, love it, but eight. I know, I know. <laughs> well, these are not a size eight. <laughs> so... That's a sponge coral, guys. Isn't that beautiful? With like a silver chain, of course. And it's very Art Deco with the cone. That's that style. It's a cone um, off of the bale. So let me get close and show you. So you can see the sponge coral. Then you see the design on the cone. Very Art Deco. The bale is simple silver. But like I said, on that cone, that beautiful design is very Art Deco. And with the cone, it gives it that look. Isn't that pretty? It's beautiful. Look at that sponge. Isn't that gorgeous? So the earrings are exactly the same. The exact, exact, exact. And they're all silver. Thank you. And you can't get coral. It's very hard to get coral anymore. So if you see it, get it. Very Art Deco. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Handmade. These are handmade. So for the set, poor guy sneezing. The set is sterling silver, nickel free. It's 95 for the set the pendant and the earrings. Isn't that beautiful? The set. I like that it looks very Art Deco. 95. And there's no carrots because here's the thing, you can't weigh a natural substance like a mother pearl or, well, gems are natural too, but you know what I mean? Like they, there's no weight for Coral, uh, amber, mother pearl, abalone, you know, any of that. There's no weight for them. So that's why I'm not giving you the carrots because there's <laughs> none to be had. Okay. 95 on that set. So pretty. All right. The next piece. 
I'm going to show. It's an inexpensive piece, guys. Very inexpensive. And once again, I'm wearing Gianna's earrings. Poor kitty. They're like a pretty hot pink. Isn't that pretty? With black. North, south, east, or east, west. <laughs> I had to like think about it for a second. <laughs> okay, these are seed beads. Um, no, 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 no. They're not seed beads. These are chroma beads. I don't know the difference, to be honest. I mean, seed beads, I know there's a hole in them and you could thread them. Chroma, I think, is adhered either by a sheet on, on a sheet and then put on something or maybe glued. I don't know. I'm not really familiar with beading, to be honest, but um, let me show you this. It's a cuff, a very large cuff, and it's gold tone, but, yeah, it is gold tone, but it's nicely done, and it's pink, white, pale pink. I don't know if you can see. So maroon, pink, white. Okay, so pink, white, maroon, white, pale pink, and it repeats. It's a huge cuff. It has a chevron, kind of a Native American design on it. And you can bend it if you want to, you know, make it a little smaller. Um, which, there we go. Isn't that cool? I just kind of pinched it just to make, you know. I think it's pretty cool. I don't really, like, I mean, it doesn't match that pink. I, I don't have a lot of pinks, but I do like the style. I know, isn't that pretty? Isn't that just gorgeous? That's a, I don't know if it's a lot of work because I don't know what goes into these type of um, little beads. So this cuff is 15, if you guys are interested, 15. And it's gold tone. Okay, thank you, Gianna. And it's a pretty pink. Thank you. And it comes in a nice box, too. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. And, oh, where'd my pencil go? Uh oh, oh, I think I covered it up. Oh, for heaven's sakes, where'd it go? Okay, well, I'm gonna use a pen. I don't know where my. So, I'm gonna say Gianna, Chroma. Bead cuff 15. Thank you, Gianna. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put this one back on because I really do like this little bracelet. Okay, the next thing is I have shown this to you guys before. It's kind of a southwestern, I wouldn't call it native um, inspired. It's, I would, I don't know, I think it's more southwestern y. And I'll show you. I know Daisy doesn't like it because she doesn't like spiders. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a huge fan of spiders, but I like the set. I think it's pretty cool. I, I, I'm I, just, um, it reminds me of the Nightmare Before Christmas, like uh, Tim Burton, all of his animation, sort of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it is stamped. Um, it has a little hallmark above the stamp, and then it has something below, I think, the country of origin, but I can't read it. So, it's the pendant, and it, oh, I forgot. I don't remember what turquoise. I think it's Kingman. Kingman turquoise. So, it's Kingman turquoise, and um, it's 10 carats total. So... In the earrings, 
you see the little body of the spiders or the turquoise. And you see the back, it's nice, solid silver. Okay. And the pendant is really pretty though. Look at that pendant with the turquoise on the bail. Isn't that pretty? It's oxidized silver. Let me see. Can I get kind of closer? Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> I like it. I think it's pretty cool. I'm not going to keep it, though, because it's my dad's. Um, so this set is 75, and it's, oops, and it is thick silver. Really thick silver. <laughs> I know. I don't think it's Native American, um, Gianna. I can't read what it says, though. It has a stamp. It says 925, and then it, I can't read. It's like all jumbled below. I can't read it. But... It's definitely, it could be Native American inspired. Oh, okay. Thank you, Kim. Oh, my little, my little spider set's going. <laughs> I, I think it's so cool because, um, I mean, it's just unique. It's so unique. It reminds me of Tim Burton. It really does. Yes. Hi, Kim. And thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, let me put it back in its little baggies. Where? Okay. Thank you very much, Kim. It's kind of like, Daisy, how you feel about spiders. That's how I feel about... Um, like snakes. I don't, I don't like to wear snake rings or snake cuffs or anything. It creeps me out. <laughs> I can't even look at a magazine with snakes on it or a book. I'll turn the page. Like, I don't want to touch the page. I'm weird about snakes. Ugh. Okay. Thank you, Kim. Let's see. Kingman turquoise set. Thank you so much. Okay. And I do have some inexpensive rings coming up towards the end, guys. I'm just trying to show this stuff first. Okay. Uh oh. Um, I tangled it. Okay, well, I'll untangle it later. Um, I think this is a 24-inch um, stainless steel necklace, and it's Galilean um, rose quartz, so from Galilei, Galilea, Galilea, um, the Holy Land. <laughs> and um, I think the, the wire wrap is actually silver tone, but it, it doesn't stick, so that's what's throwing me because the chain is stainless. I think that was a mistake on my end in writing that down because it's not sticking on the wire wrapping either, but I don't know. I, I've never heard of wire wrap in stainless. I think could be silver tone then. Okay, um, let me put it on. Let me shorten it. So it's a 24 inch stainless steel chain I'm just gonna say it's silver tone, the wire wrapping, and it's Galilean rose quartz. Hi, Susan. Oh, it's hard to see because it kind of, that light, hold on. Hold on. Let's see, okay. So there's a wire wrap on the top. Okay, 
And it's just a geode or a rough of the Galilean quartz. I know you can't see the color because my lamp, I, I don't have a light box. I'm, I'm actually using a lamp <laughs> and it's drowning out the color, but it's a very light pale pink. Oh, thank you, Daisy. Thank you. So it's like a scroll work wrapping on the top of this crystal, Galilean rose quartz, and it's on a 24 inch chain. And this one is 20, it's 165 carats if anyone is interested. Yeah, 165 carats. And it's really pretty, I just have it in a knot right now, but it's a lobster claw. Oh, that's the back. Okay. <laughs> I know. I'm. It, I, it's funny because last weekend I wasn't on at all. I was working and then I had to help my friend move. Oh, boy, that was a long weekend because I had to work and then go meet her and help her move. And then... Um, I had to work during the week too, and I was working 12 to 16 hours the week before, and then not as much during the weekend, and then the week again. So um, I thought to myself, you know what? I'm going to go on Friday and Saturday. <laughs> so 20 on that, you guys, if anyone's interested. And oh, you did? That's so weird. I, I'm so tired of YouTube. They can, you know what? They can kick rocks. Not this rock, but other rocks. <laughs> the cheaper rocks. Quarry rocks is for all I care. I don't know. I know, and it happens to me too. I'll get notification of lives after it's like already over. And I think, well, what in, what in God's name? What's How is that useful? Oh, you won. I'm sorry. Okay, thank you, Daisy. Okay, Daisy. Rose, quartz, stainless steel necklace. Thank you. Okay, that was Daisy's. Okay. I mean, come on, YouTube. And I heard that Hangouts is going to change after July. I'm thinking, I barely got the first hang the version of Hangouts. <laughs> How am I going to get the second version? <laughs> oh. Thank you, Pat. Okay. Um, let's see, what should I show you guys next? Does anyone like garnets? Because I have another garnet ring tonight, different from the one I showed you last night. Um, this one is also, though, this from the same um, region. It's the Orissa Rhodolite garnets, and it's also platinum over sterling. Well, the other one was rose gold over sterling last night, and it's a size 8 which is my size. It's very nice, so it won't tarnish, basically. And it's 65. Look how pretty that is. It's just like a bouquet. Bouquet, bouquet, however you want to say it. <laughs> of garnets, the Orissa Rhodolite region. And it's just beautiful. I am partial to garnets. I really am. Because my birthstone is ruby for this month, and I don't like red rubies. I don't, even though they, the price went through the roof with them, they went up, I still don't like them. I like the blue rubies and the pink. And that's the underneath. I think that's what I like about my dad's rings. They have really pretty under um, undersides. Really pretty. 65 on that one. 
And that's the Orissa Rhodolite Garnet. Let me get a little closer. It does look like a bouquet, huh? And it's smooth, just like the other one. It's all prong set, but it's like you, you can't, it doesn't catch on anything. I wouldn't sell anything like that. It doesn't catch. You can feel it. It's a nice, it's nicely made. Thank you, Pat. I know, too big. <laughs> okay. So that's that one. Let's see. Oh, I, mm, yeah, let me show this one again. So these bracelets, I'm going to mention again. I have three of them. They are, oh, hi, Pam. Oh, I didn't know you'd be able to make it. You didn't have to. I know it's late. <laughs> um, they're bronze cuffs, and they're nice. They're kind of modern. Well, they are modern, and they have this mother pearl. And these are 35. Now, this one I stretched out to my size, but the other ones are can be as small as you want. And you can bend this one back as well. I just wanted to show you guys and wear it. So they're 35. And I think it's so pretty. And it has like that rope design. It's very modern. Okay. These are 35. The next thing is, oh, I gotta look this one up on my spreadsheet. I tried to write everything today on, excuse me, the back of the um, boxes so I don't have to look at my spreadsheet because sometimes, I mean, my eyes jump on spreadsheets. So I feel like I don't, it's hard for me to find quickly. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, I'm so sorry. I get hiccups all the time, you guys. Okay. Let me look it up. Hold on. But it's right here. Uh, okay, not that spreadsheet. I have three separate ones. <laughs> oh, Pam, I had a size five. What was it? I think it was in Jade. I don't, I, I think it might be too big though for you and your daughter, or big in style. It was a set. But let me know if you want to see it. Okay. Is that it? No, that's not it. Okay. Different spreadsheet. Here we go. Yes. Okay. Um, if you shade alternate rows on a spreadsheet. You know, they are. But then the gray, when I print it out, it, the black turns to gray on the printer. And uh, for some reason, like, um, it's super light on my computer. And... It, I don't know. My eyes, whenever there's like lines, my eyes jump. And the, I think what happened is I used to be a financial auditor. And I think after all the years of all those spreadsheets, all those years, I don't think my eyes can take it anymore. I don't know if it's like a diabetes thing. I don't know. But I'm having a really, and I do need readers. Maybe that would help my eyes focus. But when I like look down now, my eyes start to jump a little bit. So, uh, I think it's years of spreadsheets though that I always look at, and I always use spreadsheets for everything too. But on the screen, it's a little bit different because it's bright. I don't know. I don't know why it's a different. So, um, okay, how light chip necklace. And it's dyed halite, so it's very pretty, like a vibrant turquoise, but it's halite. Um, they're same compounds and elements, pretty much. And it's a multi-strand. I think it's uh, one, two, three, four, five strands, 24 inch. And it has a matching earrings. And it's in stainless steel which I love because it won't tarnish, has the matching earrings. And I love the color. This is gorgeous color. 
Isn't that pretty? Oh, hi, Ricardo. How are you? I need glasses. <laughs> I know oh, I do. <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> I do actually. I need bifocals. <laughs> oh my God, that's hilarious. Okay, so it's dyed halide. <laughs> I know, duh. <laughs> Dyed halite. <laughs> and then it's got these beautiful square beads. Um, they're stainless steel, so they're not going to tarnish. Isn't that beautiful? And then it, they're so pretty. Then it goes to these, um, I think they call them, are these barrel beads or rondel? No, barrel beads, I think. And then like the bead on the bottom and top. And it goes to seed bead. And this is a part that is um, stainless steel. It's a, the lobster claw part. But it has really two pretty connectors. And then it has the seed beads in the silver stainless steel. Really pretty. <laughs> Look, Ricardo. I know I need glasses. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyways, um, <laughs> this set is this set is only twenty five, you guys, which is a great deal. It it's halite, halite chips, and it's stainless steel um, cubes, bead cubed beads, and then I think they're called bugle beads. It's five strands, and then seed bead, and then the earrings to match. Okay, thank you, Gianna. Boy, I spelled the wrong. Hi, Donna. How are you? Trifocals. <laughs> I probably do need trifocals, actually. <laughs> they do have them, you know. It's not a, it's not like, it's not a, a funny thing. It's really real. I think my mom had them. <laughs> Thank you, Gianna. <laughs> this is really a pretty set. <laughs> I love the square beads against the dark, darker blue halite. So beautiful. Thank you. Okay, let me put it back in its thingy. Oh, where did I put that? Where in the world? But see, I can see. I can see. Um, oh, here it is. I just can't see. I can see far away for the most part. It's up close. No, I need glasses for far away. It's very far away. But I, it's up close. And then if I use like a um, an eyepiece or a magnifying, my dad gave this to me early for my birthday. My birthday is in July. I think he gave this to me in like April. He's like, here, <laughs> you need this. And it has little lights, which is really cool. Oh, it does help. It does help, but still. Okay, so let me put this spreadsheet away. I think I'm just done with spreadsheets. I, my eyeballs can't handle them right now. Um, Gianna. And this is blue highlight necklace set. Okay, thank you, Gianna. That will look gorgeous on you, too, by the way. I'm still regretting that bracelet I sold. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It looks really good on you. Okay. This next one is um, a green aventurine necklace. I have shown this before. What are you guys saying? I know you're making fun of me. <laughs> oh, she does have some? How funny. <laughs> just throw it in with the bracelet. Okay. It's okay. Oh, thank you, Donna. I just straightened it today. It was just easier. And I had to meet a client, so. I used to get headaches all the time, Ricardo. I used to get migraines. And I don't so much anymore because I don't eat processed food as much, as much as I used to. That's helped. <laughs> is that a hint from your dad, Lori? Wait, is that a hint from your dad? What? What is a hint? Uh oh. What did my dad come on? Or did my phone go off? 
I don't think so. Okay, this is a double knotted, it has an extender on it. Um, it's green aventurine and um, stainless steel. And it has white Austrian crystal on the peacock pendant. And the pendant is secured in like a stainless steel. Um, it's all carved beads, hand knotted um, in between and carved beads also. Um, and an iron. I always, I, I keep forgetting to ask my dad about the iron part. I don't know if the iron is within the aventurine. I never found out about that. I, I should ask, but I keep forgetting to ask. There's so many questions I have. It's an 18 inch, but it does have an extender. 259.50 carats. And it's very Art Deco-like. I've shown this before, and I'm surprised no one's bought it yet, to be honest. The, oh, the magnifier. Oh, <laughs> yeah. See, it's hard to follow because I'm on, my brain's onto something else already. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So this is all aventurine. It's hand-knotted, hand-carved beads. And then you go down to the pendant, which is stainless steel. And it has um, on the bale, it is embossed. But then on the, pe the peacock itself, it has Austrian crystals. Isn't that pretty? And then it's nicely secured in the pendant in a stainless steel, like a Marrakesh design. Isn't that pretty? I like Merrick. I like Merrick. I do like Marrakesh design, but I like Aventurine. And this can be let out. So let me show you. The only part that's silver tone is the extender part. But I'm going to let it out all the way so you can see. Okay. And actually, this is a really wide neck. Let me put it on a smaller one just so you can see. Isn't that pretty? I think it's very, very Art Deco, and I like Art Deco. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Yeah, really pretty. In the back, Marrakesh, stainless steel. Did I tell you the price yet? No, I have not. It's $30. It's 259.50 carats. That's a lot of carats. And the peacock is beautiful. It has a little... Austrian crystal in the eyeball. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Okay, thank you, Daisy. Thank you. Goodbye, Mr. Peacock. You're going to a better home. Better than my home. Daisy's taking you home. Daisy. Um, adventuring... Peacock necklace. Thank you. Okay. That's that over there. I get so thirsty from talking so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, oh, thank you, Ricardo. Ricardo, what size do you wear? Because I do have men's jewelry. Um, you know, modern pieces at that, um, and and classic also. Um, I have size. I have some vintage stuff too. If you guys want me to show the the vintage, I can do that tonight in the rings. Um, I can do that. And I had men's a men's bracelet and cross necklace a second ago. If you want to see that. Ricardo, let me know. Gosh, I love these, you guys, for jewelry. I love it. They're from the dollar store. Now, the lids aren't the best. You know, they pop off very easily, but I mainly want them for stacking, and they have the um, indented lid. They're perfect for stacking. I I would not do well without, the, without these. 
I have some jade. My dad, I, I think I told you guys, he reduced the price on the jade, the vintage jade. I don't know if you guys are interested in that. What size are you? 14. Oh, I just showed a 14 last night. Where did I put it? It has a beautiful smoky quartz in it. Are you into that? Because <laughs> some, you know, some men aren't into that. Um, my dad likes stuff like that, but oh, here's some men's rings. These are vintage though. I mean, women can wear them, of course. It's just that. Oh, and I have this bracelet. I showed, I wonder if Thelma is still on here because I have this bracelet too. It's a Mexican uh, silver green onyx. All right, <clears throat> guys, I need to get some more water. Um, it was very nice. Peace. Thank you. I know. I'm so glad you got a Daisy. You collect turquoise. Oh, well, I have turquoise men's rings and a pendant. There are most of them. Uh, I think a couple are Zumi and one is Navajo. But I'll have to double check on that. I have some buffalo turquoise. Oops. That ring is smaller, though. So it might if you like it, <laughs> you might have to wear it as a pinky ring. <laughs> but it's really nice as far as a men's ring. And it is hallmarked from the artist. So let me go use the restroom really quick. I'm very fast. You know, you know me. Let me take my rings off so I can wash my hands. And... I'm going to grab some more of my water, my ionized water. I keep it in the garage because um, it takes like six hours to purify the water. And it only does one gallon at a time. So I just keep it in the garage. And it's kind of room temperature, but it's fine. All right, guys, I'll be right back. Let me grab more water. I'll be right back. I'm quick. Speedy thing is all this. <laughs> So was that too far? Okay, I'm back. Come back. I'm back. <sighs> okay. Alrighty. Let's see. What bracelet? Oh, the one she got. Yes. Your video on Zuni necklace. Okay. Let's we'll check it out. How come it didn't show up? That's weird. I had to approve it. Um, Zunu. <laughs> Look at Gianna's earrings, you guys. Beautiful, huh? I, I need a pink necklace. Hint, hint, Gianna. <laughs> I do love pink, though. I really do. Okay. So let me show you some vintage rings. I have shown you guys this, but I, I hate to bring more stuff to the house. Because my dad is going to get more stuff. I want to sell what I have here in the house before I bring more. Because um, it stresses me out <laughs> when I see all the stuff in my little totes. 
Okay, now I have it, have them written down, but let me see. Now this is old turquoise and old coral. Now this is an almost a nine and a quarter, closer to a nine. Um, I better look it up because <laughs> I kind of forget. They're from two different places. Uh, one, my dad knew the artist. Oh, I hope I can find it quickly. Let's see. I, I'm so glad I keep like a little journal for all the jewelry because otherwise, oh my goodness, I could not keep it all straight. I mean, sometimes he spouts it off. I'm like, hold on, Dad. I got to write this down. I got to write it down. Oh, boy. I think I'm coming up on it. Hold on. That's my kitty sneezing, poor thing. Oh, come on. Here we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have a copper bracelet, too, if you're interested, um, Ricardo. I think I forgot to write it down, but I think it's also Native American made. I don't know which tribe, but he my dad lives in Nevada. Um, he gets all of this in Nevada. Um, oh, that's not it. Shoot. OK, so well, I'm going to go from memory. So this is nine and one quarter. Um, it has. Oh, it's so beautiful. Tri split shoulder band. It's on a platform of oxidized silver with a bezel of turquoise and old coral. And you can tell it's very old. This is probably from the 50s, he thinks. Oh, I hope you can see the color. Because you see how the, the turquoise is turning kind of greenish? That is really. That just happens to turquoise. I, I don't know why. It oxidizes, though. And here's the coral, big chunk of coral. And a simple bezel, each of them. They're on a platform of silver, which is oxidized down below. And then it's got a braiding detail. And you can see underneath on the platform... And then the tri split band. Now, this is nine and one quarter. I love this ring. It's too big for me, but. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? It's a very big ring, very statement like, <laughs> or a statement ring. And I could wear it on my forefinger. I do love it. I think it's gorgeous. And the story behind it, I don't remember. But the copper, you think, is what turns it um, green? That could be. That makes sense. Or the copper, the gold. That could very well be, Pam. I have to look it up. Anyways, my dad was supposed to go treasure or gold hunting in Nevada last week. It didn't work out. It didn't pan out. <laughs> he was going to go panning too, but he's going to go when he goes next week panning and to grab some more jewelry. So this is, um, oh, okay. So this is nine and one quarter, <clears throat> Ricardo. So this might fit maybe on your pinky. I don't know what nine and one quarter was where it would fit, but, um, it looks good on the hand. If if I was a man, <laughs> this would look good on the pinky also. Because then you could really take notice of that gorgeous tri-split band, which is rope design. So I can't remember if this is the Zuni one or the Navajo made. I can't remember. Um, hold on. Let me look. Okay, I think it's this um, This one is th the man he met, and it's not marked, which is typical um, of Native American. Um, anyways, but he, I don't know if he's even alive anymore, but um, he got it in Nevada. 
This ring is 200 if you're interested. But it's, let me think, Zuni. I think he was Zuni because he was in the same area as my dad. So Zuni Indian, I'm almost certain. And it's got the old coral and the turquoise. Even if you wanted to resell it. Isn't that beautiful? Hold on. Let me show you the back. Isn't that pretty? I like how um, he didn't use like a band, you know what I mean? And then connect it or have the uh, rope design on top of the band. He used the rope design. That's a difficult technique. And then joined him in the middle. That's really a difficult technique. So 200 on that one. If anyone's interested. Okay, then this next one is this one is hallmarked it's a sun and it's almost 11 and one quarter closer to an 11 and it's got the old coral also the um, turquoise which is kind of starting to turn green but it kind of looks like kingman Turquoise, I don't know if it is. And it has the oxidized silver. So 11 and one quarter. And it has those that beautiful bezel that I love. That's when you know it's vintage. So this one's from the 60s. And you can see the bezels and then those balls. Um, it's oxidized silver as the platform and then it has some scroll work and then some flattened little balls and the scroll work and it's got the rope design all around and that pretty and that's the back that's a really nice back the rope design and then you can see the hallmark where is it? It is right there. That sun. Do you see that sun right there? Yeah, that's the hallmark. And quite honestly, I don't remember if this one is the uh, Navajo or the Zuni either, because we had he had brought me several pieces and some have sold since then and I don't I can't find the paperwork but that I wrote it down. Oh I wonder if well then this probably is a Zuni one because it is a sunrise hallmark. And my dad's gonna make a squash blossom um, necklace pretty soon once he feels better and able to do that. Isn't that pretty? I love that hallmark. So all of these bezels are that vintage, beautiful bezel around the turquoise and the coral. And it's thick turquoise and coral. As you can see, it sticks up. Okay. Um, I do remember the price on this, but I think, let me see if I wrote it. Let me just check one more spot because I have a price in my head. And I want to make sure. No, I didn't write it down. I'm almost certain this one was 200 as well. So 200 and it's 11 and it's a size 11, but a little bit larger than a size 11. Okay, so that's a little bit larger. And then, what's that? Oh, here's the turquoise too. So I'll show you the white buffalo ring. This one is smaller though, but it could be a pinky ring also. It's 10 and a half. 
it could be a pinky ring. Um, it's very thick silver. It is hallmarked. It is stamped. Um, it's a sterling, and it has the initials. Um, it has that prong set that I like. So it, to me, it looks like a Japanese painting, and it has that prong set that I love. Then it's on a platform of solid silver all around, like a disc, as you can see. And you can see the stamps, hallmarks. And the wide band, it's so beautiful. This one is 100. If anyone is interested, it's, what did I say, 10 and a half? Ten and a half. I'll put it here. Ten and a half on that one, and it's beautiful. It is hallmarked and stamped. And I just love, look at that triple <laughs> pinky ring. Yeah, I guess it could be, huh? <laughs> Triple platform, if you count the bezel, the platform, and it's like a, gosh, it's, how do I explain that? It's, it's, it goes like this, um, okay, for the platform. So it's like a pillow effect. And then onto the band. Isn't that beautiful? Thank you. I love the setting or the bezel. I love that bezel. It's not jagged. It's it's rounded off, too. Scalloped, I guess. Scalloped is the right word. Okay, so that one's 100. Ten and a half. Ten and a half on that one. That's white buffalo. Yeah. Okay. And I don't know if Thelma is still on here, but Thelma, if you're on here, oh, you are. Beveled. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Beveled. Yes. Ah, thank you. I'm glad you're on here because you were interested in this last time. I don't know if you're still interested in it. Um, it's Mexican silver. And it is green onyx. Um, oh, thank you. <laughs> My little kitty mug. I got it at Goodwill. <laughs> Isn't that cute? <laughs> I think it was 49 cents. <laughs> um, I was uncomfortable in selling it because it was missing um, two sets of earrings on the vintage mass. But... I did some research and they all kind of either have it or don't um, have the earrings on it. So let me show you. But it's it looks like jade, but it's onyx and it's carved onyx. Um, and it has it says Mexico or hecho, eh, hecho in Mexico. And I can't read the small writing for God's sakes. I can't remember if this was Tasco or not. I can't remember, but I think it was. And it has a typical springs in the back. It does have earrings, the earrings on one of the warriors. It's just this one, this one. See the little dangles? So there are the earrings on that warrior. Look at all that bubble of silver. Look at the intricacy of that. Isn't that just beautiful? So it's carved onyx, green onyx. And each of the pieces curved so it fits your wrist. Then it goes with that. So this guy, this little warrior guy, is missing his little dangles. <laughs> and there's that. He's missing his little dangles. This is the back, and you can see the typical springs that they use.
And then that's where it's marked on the part that goes in. Let's see, I don't know if you could see it. It has the stamp, it says Echo Mexico, and then the stamp, I think, I don't know if it's the bird, the um, their state bird. I can't see. And it says it here too, on this as well. Thank you, Gianna. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on to show you. It's beautiful. Let me take this one off. So that's the bracelet. Isn't it pretty? But it is missing two sets of the earrings. So if you're interested and don't feel obligated, I just wanted to show you because you were interested a while ago, but it's 75 if you are interested. And it's pretty. Look at the carving of the face of little warriors. Um, some people are, have sold these I've seen and they say jade, but they're not jade. It's green onyx. Um, where's the... Oh, here it is. Thank you. Look at the scroll work. Just beautiful. I'm really fond of Mexican silver. That's okay. Just let me know. Hi, Lydia. How are you? You can't really tell he's missing his little earrings. <laughs> let me wrap it up. Okay. So... Thank you. And Lydia, by the way, I saw some of your work the other day, your your, um, your beautiful necklaces. They were so pretty, so beautiful. You do such nice work. Okay. You're good? Oh, good. <laughs> Let me put my rings. Okay, so... I'm going to, I'm not going to sell this ring. I really like this ring. It's a mother of pearl and brass. I told my dad, I'm just going to keep it, dad. I'm sorry. I really like this one. And when I lose weight, it can fit on my forefinger. <laughs> but I think it's so pretty. This one I am willing to sell. And like I said, it's the Toss Stitchite. And it's um, probably from the 60s, maybe 50s. I'm not sure exactly. Probably from the 50s. And it's like a sterling silver. It's on a cuff base with braiding and then the regular bezel. It is a, adjustable, but it's very comfortable because they do that um, looped around um, adjustment, you know, on, see what I mean? So it doesn't pinch you. Really nice work. Um I really like this ring. I think it's really pretty. Anyways, this one's 75. If any of you are interested. Yeah, Lydia, you do really nice work. Really nice work. Very nice. Okay, I'm going to keep it on because I'm wearing it. <laughs> All right, so then <clears throat> I'm going to show you some old jade that my dad um, has had. Do you hear my poor kitties sneezing in the background? It's okay, baby. Yeah, so Lydia was on, um, um, where did I see? Oh, it was uh, Rebecca's channel. And I tuned in because I had seen I had seen Lydia's face. And I thought, oh, oh, she's interviewing her. So I wanted to watch it. And um, but it was uh, I don't know if it was that one or the next. I think it was that video. You showed some of your 
your work. And I thought, wow, you do. But I saw most of it on Facebook. And I need to post stuff on Facebook. But it was really beautiful. Really nice. I like I like how you are resourceful because I, I kind of am resourceful in my decor. And I like how you piece things together. I love that idea. That is by far my favorite thing to do, to, to piece things together, reuse what we have, and not consume more and more and more and more. Okay, I don't know where my... Here it is. Ruler is. All right, so it is a 16 inch uh, old jade. Uh, it was probably from the 50s, but it got restrung and um, they kept the barrel clasp, but they put it on, um, it's not knotted in between, but they put it on like, oops, acrylic, you know, threading. Um, what is that? It's like fishing line, plastic acrylic line <laughs> threading. <laughs> but it's beautiful. You can see the variations in the jade, very dark, but there's some that are lighter. Okay. I'm showing this again because, like I said, my dad's bringing some more stuff, and I need to sell this stuff in order for him to bring more stuff. These are gold-filled um, clip earrings. They were bought at different times, but they do match the necklace very well, almost exact. And that's really hard, especially coming from a different time, different era, different host of, you know, stone. Okay, I'm going to clip them onto the necklace. Um, so they're gold filled clip earrings, which let me show you. They're just simple and pretty, aren't they? Look how they would look. Oh, where's my ear? Oh, I got a big disc on. I forgot. I don't normally wear earrings anymore, but um, I had to wear Gianna's. Okay. Oh, did it the wrong way. Anyways, so they did get restrung, but don't let that discourage you from this beautiful set, basically. I mean, look how close they match. And they were bought at totally different times, which is amazing. So this set, um, this set or this necklace was from the 50s. My dad thinks these are from the 60s. The earrings, isn't that cool? So this set is a hundred if you are interested and I think it's beautiful. It's a uh, 16 inch in the necklace. And I did try these on, they're very comfortable. I don't know what you call these clips, but they're really comfortable. Okay. I think I'm just going to leave it like this <laughs> so it's easier to show next time if I have to show it. Okay. All right. So the next piece, I put that up there. Let's see, what are you guys saying? Um, mm -hmm. Oh, why are you limited on what you put on Facebook, um, Ricardo? I know, you would never know. Exactly. Very simple and classic. It does. Really, Pat? Oh my gosh. I, you know, what's funny about Jade is I never appreciated it as a teenage. I mean, I, I admired it, but I never, I shouldn't say appreciated. I admired it, but I didn't like to wear it. I didn't buy it. Um, now I admire it. Well, I still admire it, love it, 
would buy it. You know, I, I, it's funny when you get older, your tastes change. I really enjoy it. I think it's beautiful. And um, in fact, I have a jade ring over here that I like to wear. And um, I just love it. You know, it's not something I think teenagers think of or like and like to wear, but it's a very classic. It's like pearls. It's, um, it's just one of those pieces, you know, I just love it. It's something that people should collect too, I think. Thank you. Okay, so I have a, um, what is this called? This was also made by a local artist. He did not hallmark it, which is typical. Um, it's sterling silver and it's called um, Lace Turquoise. And so the next, the, the chain does not come with it. If you want the chain, then that's separate. But it has a huge silver bale and a big, well-made bezel around the very thick um, lace turquoise. And then the back is gorgeous. It's very thick turquoise or silver, excuse me. So let me show you because I want you to see the veining. I hope. Me, oh, I can't turn it off. I forgot. <laughs> can okay, there you go. So you can see the veining. It's like white underneath. Isn't that just beautiful? They call it lace. Oops, let me do it that way. That way you can see a little better. This one's lace, um, turquoise. And I think this was the one that was Navajo, not Zuni. Isn't that pretty? With a little black at the bottom. And then this is the back. It's just silver. This one's older, too. Um, this one, I can't find any of my, my dad's notes. But this one was, I think, from the 1960s and was also a Zuni. Um, the necklace is Italian. I just put it with that. But if you're interested in the pendant, it's not hallmarked, but it is Native American made. Pretty bail. It's pretty thick, you guys. Look at that. It's a hundred if you're interested. And it's beautiful. It's called lace turquoise. And you can can you see that white underneath? Almost like it's transparent turquoise on top, and it looks through the bottom. Like it's puddling turquoise on a surface of oil or something. Isn't that just beautiful? I have found a new respect for, I mean, I love turquoise, but I found more respect for turquoise with the lace um, turquoise. So I do love it. So this piece, the pendant, it is marked 925 inside the bale. But it's not hallmarked. Like I said, it's typical of uh, Native American not to hallmark, especially back back in the day. Um, they were still trying to elude the government, you know, because they were trying to keep track of what the Indians, the artisans were making and selling. So they wouldn't sign it. Um, that's part of the reason. Anyways, but it's 100 if you are interested and it's really beautiful. Okay. So that's that turquoise. I'm going to put it back in its box. <clears throat> okay. All right. What else do you guys want to see? Because... I know there may have been some latecomers, and I pretty much have everything. Garnets. I'm low on sapphires. My dad, I think, is going to bring some sapphires. 
Um, oh, Pam, do you want me to show you the jade set in a five? Let me see. I don't know. I think you may have seen this and you thought it, I think you thought it was too big or I don't know if you saw it. Here's a size five. Okay. Um, the only lapis that I have, uh, Daisy, is the ring and pendant set, but I think you already bought a set like it. And then that carved bead, like round beads, and it was like a bolo bracelet with silver. I think that's the only two pieces I have right now. <laughs> Go make besties with your pillow. <laughs> Thank you for your purchase. I appreciate it. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I know the feeling, though. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's hilarious. <laughs> Thank you. Love your earrings. Um, okay. So um, that's it. Daisy, I just have the um, the lapis bracelet and the lapis pendant and ring set. But I think the pendant and ring set you already have. And the lapis bracelet, I think you saw the other night. I think I showed it on Thursday. I, um, I can show it to you if, again if you're interested. Um I think you were here when you when I showed it. Okay, Pam, this is a size five. It's Burmese Jade, same host. So the ring, it has oxidized silver with all that. Um, it's an artisan piece, looping and little balls and and then it has the typical bezel, and then it has, I think, oh, okay, it's rope, rope design at the base. And then but all of that work is done separately on top of the disc. And it's matching the pendant. Beautiful. And that's the back. 925 and what else was I going to say about it? <laughs> I don't remember. Um, hmm. Hi, CC. Oh, sure. Of course. Um, Daisy. Isn't that pretty? I didn't, I don't know if it's your style, Pam, but it is a size five. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> okay, let me grab the lapis bracelet. Um, is it up here? I don't think so. I think I put it away already. Okay, hold on. Hold on, guys. Hi, CC. This is on the same CC as CC Collections, right? I think it's a different CC, but hello. <laughs> Hold on, guys. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right, let's see, let's see. Where did I put it? Where did I put it? Are you okay, baby? You okay? Are you okay? I'm sorry, you don't feel good. Okay, I think it's on this one. Okay. <laughs>
Okay, Daisy, I think it's, I think I kept it, oh, is this it? Okay, I do have some fun items to show you guys too, but I think I kept it up here. Hold on, I got to move some stuff around. Excuse me, you guys, I've got like the worst hiccups, stomach acid going on ever. <laughs> no, it's actually not that bad. It's not horrible. Oh, I don't know where I put it, Daisy, but I didn't sell it. I know that. I didn't sell it because I would have known. Let's see. Where in the world is it? Oh, wait a minute. Let me over here. Hmm. It's not there. Oh, hold on, one more spot. <laughs> Let's see, is it over here? No. Hmm. Okay, let me check again, hold on. Hey buddy, what are you doing? Are you okay? Are you okay? You know what? I can't find it, Daisy, but I can always send you a picture. I don't know where it... Oh, wait a minute. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> I don't know where in the heck. Where is it? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm so, I can't find it, but I know I didn't sell it, and I, it's probably up here, and I just can't see it because it's a mess, but I will send you a picture if that's okay because I have no idea where I put it. So, okay, I'm sorry. I can't find it right now. I have no idea where I put it. Okay, I will, I'll definitely email it to you. Um, sorry. <laughs> Let me look on this table because I have all my spreadsheets. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, that's not it. Hold on. Things get stuck underneath here under my table. Oh, I oh I found it. <laughs> I did find it. Okay. And I'll show this other Mojave turquoise also. Okay. Um so it's uh hand carved beads. They're not high polished, they're um lightly polished tumbled as they would say and they are sterling silver it's a bolo bracelet with sterling beads in between so let me show you you see the little sterling beads in between here is the back the bolo bracelet I will try to put it on One-handed. <laughs> okay. So that's the bracelet. 
and I couldn't, I can't tighten it because I'm not that coordinated, but um, it does obviously it can fit a small wrist to a large wrist, and then you just tighten it like this. But I guess it might take two people, huh? And it's really pretty. So it's all silver. That's the little tassels. Okay. And where is it? Uh, it is. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I have to look on the spreadsheet. Hold on. <laughs> I guess I didn't write it down. Uh, it is. I guess I did right now. Okay. This one? Okay. Is that it? Nope. <laughs> Not. Okay, here we go. So it's lapis lazuli, sterling silver, bolo bracelet, adjustable, 32 carats of the lapis, and that one is 30. 30 on this one. So it's a silver and lapis. Okay, thank you. So pretty, huh? Thank you so much. Okay. I put all my spreadsheets. There we go. And where'd my pen go? Oh my gosh, how do I lose things? It's, oh, here we go. Daisy, lapis. I, I like bolo also. I think it's very feminine. Um, I, I, I just, um, I have a couple and I, I don't know why I haven't worn them actually. <laughs> okay, Bolo 925. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, I have one more Bolo, um, but it's the Purple Mojave Turquoise. And um, I don't know what chat room I was in, but Purple is natural. It's not dyed. So you get purple turquoise, you get green, you get blue, you get the white. So it's not dyed. Um, but this is, let me see what the info says. I don't think I wrote this one down either. But it's, um, I think it's silver. Let me double check. And it's a bolo style. Uh, it is okay hold on I know I have it here uh, let me show you and then I'll find it Yeah, I guess it's a diff my difference. But okay, let me show you. And while I show you, I will. So, purple Mojave turquoise. Can you see the copper gold veining? It's like purple and indigo blue and the copper and gold, it's embossed around the bezel. And then it has the beads that goes into the bolo. That's the underside. Now I just gotta find <laughs> where it is on my spreadsheet if anyone's interested. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Pat. Um, I'm glad you liked it because bolo bracelets are the best for people who have small wrists because you can make it as small as you want. Or if you have a large wrist, larger, like.
like myself <laughs> and it'll fit. Um, as much as I, I love bracelets, they just don't fit me because, you know, I can't sometimes get it off of me and I, th I panic. I'm like, oh, I can't get it off. Okay, let's see. I feel like I'm getting closer. Um, oh, my eyes. All right. I don't see it on here. Hold on. Let me double check. Sorry, you guys. Hold on. Oh, here it is. Sorry. Okay, yep, Mojave Purple Turquoise, Sterling Silver, um, and it's in stainless steel, so it's not going to tarnish, and it's five carats, five carats exactly. <laughs> so this one, if anyone's interested, is 20. So actually, the one um, – Daisy got was an excellent deal, but Mojave turquoise also is a beautiful stone. It's got the beading, and then it goes to the chain. So B, the undercarriage or the underneath, and then a little bowl apart. So that one's 20, if anyone's interested. And I don't know if Ricardo is still here, but I have some more men's rings. And um, Pam, I think you were here when I showed that um that fire opal in a size five. I think you were here and you were still thinking about that Mozambique garnet, right? Um, size six. I'm going to show it to you. You don't have to tell me right this second, but it's a Mozambique garnet in sterling. It's a trilogy size six and it's from Africa. So I really love the darkness of it. The deep, rich, garnets, and then the embossing all around the teardrop stones onto the band. Isn't that pretty? That's so pretty. This one is 50. It's 2.40 carats, and it's from Mozambique. Size 6. You can tell me... Uh, Later, if you want to. I just wanted to show you again. Okay. Um, lapis ring pendant. Oh, you want to see that, CC? Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> sure. Um, I like that, but I really would like a five. Okay. Okay, yes, 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 yes. No problem. Okay. Um... Did you want to see the fire opal again, Pam? Okay, let me grab, while you're thinking about that, for CC the lapis ring and matching pendant. Hold on. One second, please. There must be a raccoon out there because the kitties are, like, staring out the window. I do feed the raccoons and stones. <laughs> I know, I'm crazy. I know. I am crazy. Yep. I think it's, uh, um, hi, babies. Who's out there? Who's out there? Oh, it might be Gary. Okay. Well, they got to eat too, you know? That's how I figure it. Little raccoons. And the skunk, I've known her since she was little. Her name is Millie. Then she got to be of age to have her own litter. <laughs> she still comes around. She's funny. You remind me of me. Oh, how's that, Ricardo? Like awesome, you mean? <laughs> or do you feed <laughs> all the animals? 
<laughs> like I do. Because I feel like everything. <laughs> crazy. Oh, okay. Well, crazy is good. As long as like it's not a mental crazy, you know. <laughs> I'm good with like normal crazy. <laughs> okay. Let me look this up. But he, it's a pendant with the chain. And now I gotta hold on. I gotta look it up on the my spell spell spreadsheet. So, mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, I can scan them pretty quickly, but it does make my eyes go. <laughs> it does because I look for a number. Okay. Oh, here it is. See, I'm pretty fast. All right, um, Cece. So this is lapis lazuli, platinum over sterling silver, and it's sterling that is nickel free. Size nine. I don't know if that's too big for you. Um, it has a pendant and the chain. So the chain is also sterling silver, 20 inch. It's 17.10 carats. And let me show you. Let me take my other ring off. Oh, that's nice, Pam. Your family must love you. <laughs> so here is the pendant and the ring. Now you can see the design on the band. Let me do it this way. Okay, it's a cush cut, pillow cut, um, cabochon. And it has like little, it's like an art deco almost. And then it's embossed on the edges. And then it has um, filigree underneath the stone and it's beautiful but it's size nine and the same design that's on the band is on the bale let me get close uh, and so you can see look at that and that beautiful on the side you can see the embossing on the bale it looks like, I mean, it's just beautiful. Like individual little balls on there. And then look at the filigree underneath the stone. And then, oop. Look at the underneath. Isn't that beautiful too? Not that you see it, but it's still pretty. And it's got the same design on the back of the bail as the front. It's just beautiful. Oh, where am I? So it's all sterling. I think, what did I say? Platinum? Platinum over sterling. You okay, buddy? You okay? That's my old dog. Um, platinum over sterling, size 9, 20-inch necklace. This set is 140 if you are interested, CC. Thank you. <laughs> Pam actually does stock up. She's really very organized. Way organized, I think, than I'll ever be. But I do have extra wrapping <laughs> for Christmas. <laughs> but I'm starting on my gifts already. <laughs> oh, God. So 140. If, CC, if you're interested, let me know. If not, then that's okay. And anyone else who's interested after CC. But look at the beautiful stone. And I think the one that, um, okay, <laughs> the one that Daisy got is slightly different band, but same idea. It was a matching ring to the pendant and just beautiful. Really beautiful. So she's going to think about it, guys. But 
If anyone else is interested, let me know. Isn't that beautiful? All sterling, platinum over sterling. Okay. Okay. Oops, wrong finger. All right. Okay, I'm gonna show some men's rings since Ricardo's still on here. Um, and I know you said a certain size, but I do have a 12, a 13, and another 13. And then a smaller one. Which one is this? This is a nine. So that's probably not going to fit. But um, let me show you the 12 first. It's just a simple, clean, stainless steel band. Uh, let's see. I'll put it in my forefinger. And it has, I don't, I think it's an um, Austrian crystal, but it could be a CZ. I don't know. This one I did not write down, so I apologize. But it's stainless steel. Look how thick the band is. And then it has that very modern stone right there fit in to the band. It's a 12. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful. Stainless steel won't rust on you, so that's the nice thing. And you can't resize it. It's too thick of a metal. You just can't. So it has to either fit you, you can't resize it at a jeweler. Okay, there's that one. Pam is super prepared. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is just a fun ring. It's a 13. It's also stainless steel. They're marked on the inside. Um, this is probably for maybe someone younger. And it has like etched stars on it. And it's um, a spinner ring. So the, that middle part can rotate. See what I mean? It's all stainless steel. Size 13. Okay. And then this one is also a 13, not a spinner ring. Um, it has Austrian crystals, three. And then it has a little band, a black band below it. Also stainless steel. Isn't that pretty? So there's the three Austrian crystals and the black band. You can see. Now you can take that black band off from, wait, can you? I can't remember. Yes, you can take that black band off if you want to. So it'll just be a ridge if you want around it. So if you're interested in any of those or anyone else, I'll give you the price. Pretty. Um, okay, yes. All right, so we have those three. Maybe I should just give you the price regardless. <laughs> okay, so this men's ring, the 12 with the, I believe it's an Austrian crystal. This one is 25. It's a size 12. That's the 12. Very clean, oops, clean and modern. Okay, this one with the Austrian crystals and the black band that can be removed is 20. And you can't remove that band, so it'll be just an, an, a ridge, just kind of nice. And then this one that's a spinner ring with the stars etched in is 15 if you are interested. It's like a matte stainless. Okay, thank you, Daisy. Okay, 
easy. Uh, let's see, men's spinner ring, stainless steel, 15. Thank you so much. Yes, that's the right ring. Okay. All right, so I have those two left, and then I have a size 9 I'm going to show you guys. Um, thank you, Daisy. Now, I, I think I've showed you guys this one before. It looks like a class ring. Um, it's a simulated black sapphire, which means it's lab created, same elements and compounds. Um, it's just, it's perfect, meaning no inclusions. N there's nothing wrong with it, like when it grows in, in the earth. So um, it doesn't make it any less valuable. It's actually more valuable when you think about it because it's there's nothing, no inclusions in it. So um, simulated black sapphire, and it's in stainless steel. It's a size nine. And let's see, I'll put it here. So it could be a pinky ring. So it has the marquee cut on top. Beautiful black sapphire. And it, can you see that work in there? It's oxidized, the scroll. Kind of looks um, Viking Nordic. Um, I bet that's what all of the, maybe it's um, a Zodiac too. Kind of looks like the Nordic Zodiac all around. The bezel. I could be wrong though. I mean, that's the other thing. We have Nordic blood too. So I need to learn how to say thank you <laughs> in Norwegian. <laughs> Bye, Pam. Thank you for coming on. I know it's late, huh, you guys? I'm an hour later than last night. Thank you, Pam. Can I call you tomorrow, Pam? I feel like we need to talk. So much has like been going on. I need to catch up. <laughs> okay, so this ring is a size nine, and this one is thirty-five, guys, and that's an excellent deal for a lab-created black sapphire. And I think it's the Nordic zodiac all around the bezel. Size nine and 35. Okay, so that's all the men's rings <laughs> that I have right now, or that I pulled, anyways. Oh, oh okay. I'm sorry. So this one, I misspoke. I didn't read the bottom with my notes. These are lab created diamonds. These are lab created diamonds, not Austrian crystals. But if you are, if you want it for the same price, I'm, it's my mistake. So I didn't look at the bottom of the box where I wrote everything down. Okay. All right, guys. Um. Okay, I think I'm going to end it here because, um, oh, oh, yes. Wait, the fire opal set or the fire opal ring, CC? Because I have the fire opal ring, which I'll show you. It's a size five. Is that too small? And then I have a fire opal, Mexican fire opal set. Um, and that's a different, different size, excuse me. This is a five, so I don't, I don't know if this is too small for you, but it's Spanish. It's uh, from the Spanish re region. It's Salamanca Fire Opal, and then the Com Cambodian um, Zircons, which are excellent. And it has embossing around the split shoulder, and it's platinum over sterling, and it's 0.43 carats. Oh, it is your your um, your opal, <laughs> your birthstone. 
Okay. So this is a size five. This is the Salamanca fire opal. It's a Spanish region that this comes from. And look at the band, how it's braided and embossed. Let me rest my hand so I'm not shaking all over. And it has the um, zircons all around it. Oh, okay, size nine, okay. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so that one is a size five. And, oh, I can't read this. What does that say? I think this one is, okay, this one's 50, guys, if you're interested. 50 on that one, the Fire Opal, size five. I don't remember what size that set is or four for the pinky. Well, what about five for your index? <laughs> okay, let me go pull that set, and I, because I don't remember what size it is, but I am i don't think it's a nine, but let me see. Okay, hold on one sec. Oh, I don't know what I just did with my back, but okay. Um, it is, a, oh, it's a size six. Oh, such a pretty, it's a Mexican fire opal. It's from Jalisco. Oh, I think the raccoons are coming. The cats are going crazy. That's Bobcat right there. Bubby. He won't even respond. Bubby, 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 what's going on? Oh, it's Gary. Gary is out there. Gary. And then my dog goes crazy. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I shouldn't have even let you know. You're a bad dog. You know that? Say hello to everyone, even though you're bad. Oh. <laughs> hey. You're hurting my blouse, buddy. You're hurting my blouse. Okay, this one is a size six, and it's a matching um, pendant necklace with the ring. Um, here, you can sit, buddy. Sit here next to me, okay? Okay, baby. Or you can sit on my lap. That's fine, too. No, do not bother him. He, he hates... Um, Gary, because that's true. That is true, Cece. Because uh, what I live with, um, well, I used to live with three men, tenant, three male tenants, but now it's just two. But one's a police officer, and the other one works. Um, not he's not a police officer. Um, so I feel I feel pretty. Well, protected, I suppose. <laughs> okay, so once again, it's the Mexican fire opal, and um, which is, I believe, I didn't write it down, but I believe it's out of Jalisco, and it's the Cambodian zircons, which are gorgeous. I love zircons and topaz. Platinum over sterling, size six, uh, 0.96 carats, 20 inch chain. So the matching band matches the bail also. I think you can kind of see it right there. 
Isn't that pretty? So you see the zircons all around both the pendant and the ring. Isn't that beautiful? I'm trying to get the light on it. Oh, it's so pretty, really pretty. I am partial to the Mexican fire opals, actually. That just, the band is really pretty. Then the underneath, it's open. Yes, orange. So like the one I showed you from Spain is a lighter orange. The ones from Mexico are a darker orange. They're the fire opals also. So if you see opals that are that white, milky white with that sheen over it, that's the typical opal. And then you have the black opal, which is the um, green and blue and um, really beautiful too. And they're also considered fire opals. Then you have some of the milky white opals from Ethiopia and um, oh, somewhere else that are also fire opals, but they're the white. These are orange. They're from Mexico. <laughs> I, I guess, I don't know. I didn't, I guess people don't, probably don't know about that, but they are very popular and very expensive. But they're the fire opals out of Jalisco and then the Cambodians. And that set is, I'm kind of guessing you're not into it because you're like, oh, orange. But we have other opals too. So that set, excuse me. Oh my gosh. Get down, buddy. Get your little body down. Get your body down. Is <laughs> 150 for the set. So look up um, Mexican fire opals. They're very pricey, but, and they're very well received. 150 for the set and they match. <clears throat> if you want the typical white, then I would say go for the, um, uh, the fire opals, but in like Ethiopian wellow opals, they're, they are pricey, <clears throat> but they're the, they're the hot item right now. Okay, hold on. Let me put this back in its little package because this one, I don't know what it is about this set. I keep losing it, <clears throat> separating it. Okay, then I'm going to show you a different ring. There are bigger size. If you like the fire opals, or I'm going to show you this. But I need to put it back in this bag so they don't get separated. Okay. Hi, little girl. Oh, hold on. My little nugget woke up. <laughs> Come here, baby girl. Come here, baby. <laughs> Here's this little baby. This is my little nugget. <laughs> this is a little baby. Oh, so tired. She's an old lady, and this little guy is so jealous. But he loves her. Excuse me, can you get down? This is my kitchen table. <laughs> Okay, so, buddy, you need to get down. I can't have both of you up here. You're going to trample her. You're too big. I love you, but come on. <sighs> okay, this one is a size 10. So if you want to wear it um, for your pinky or your index finger, I know. <laughs> Pat, I know you love, I love my babies too. Look at she's so cute. She just woke up. She, when she wakes up, I have to go get her because she gets really confused. Like, where are you? I'm um, old lady. Uh, old lady. You're so cute, baby. You got your little sweater on because you're always so cool. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> get down, buddy. I love you, but get down. All right. Now, this is a Morganite um, quartz 
ring stone, but then it has the Arisa Rhodolite garnets on the sides, and it is platinum over sterling, size 10, 5.87 carats. Now, the Morganite is very popular right now. Wait, yeah, size 10. So I'm going to show you my forefinger. Uh, let's see. I want kisses <laughs> to mommy. No, <laughs> I don't like kisses on my face. <laughs> yeah. he, he'll be really sly, though. He'll get my lips sometimes. And sometimes he's even gotten inside my mouth. It's so gross. Ugh. So, okay, baby, you want to get down? You want to get down? Get down. Get down. <laughs> no kisses. So that's a Morganite um, quartz. It's like a peach, salmon-y color. It's beautiful. And then it has the Arisa Rhodolite. Let me get closer. I keep pushing this away. Can you see the swags within the setting of the garnets? They're Arisa Rhodolite garnets, different region. They're not African. And it's very um, Art Deco, kind of like feathers or scales, which I love. And then you have filigree underneath the stone. Really pretty. Oh, look at my white hair. <laughs> it's so beautiful. It's really beautiful ring. This is... Size 10, 5.8, size 7 carats, 65 for, oops, this ring. Thank you. It's beautiful, but it's a size 10. I love the sides. Beautiful. Super beautiful. Why is in such a, <laughs> I know, I'm so sorry, Pat. <laughs> so 65 on that one. Okay, then this one I'll show, I showed last night, but I'll show you again. This is also Arisa Rotolite Garnet. Hey, Bubby, get down, get down. Um, and it's the Vermeil Rose Gold Ionize over the sterling silver, which means it's uh, heat treated. It's not plated, so it's better. Never doesn't rub off. Size ten also. Three point five zero carats, but it is a stunner. And prong set. Now, oh, you guys, this is gorgeous. I like rose gold, and it has a split shoulder. And if you run your finger over it, it doesn't catch on anything. It's very well done, smooth. This is the underside. Beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? This one is 85. And it's worth every cent of it. Just beautiful. But it is a 10. But you could wear it on your forefinger. I like this style, the um, uh, marquee shape on a forefinger. I think that looks nice. But you can't have too many rings when you do a forefinger. I feel like you do one on your forefinger and then maybe one on your other hand because then otherwise it gets you too much and you can't appreciate, you know, what's on your hand. I know. I love rose gold too. I just don't like yellow gold as much. I'll wear it, but I I prefer I prefer silver Rose gold, brass. I don't know why. I just like the way it looks better on my skin, I guess. But everyone tells me gold looks good on me too. But this is a brass ring. But it's like a darker brass, you know, dark brass. So I, I just, I like it. Okay. So if you tell me, Cece, what you're looking for. Oh, no problem, Cece. Just let me know. Well, welcome. <laughs> Let me know what you're looking for because I know pretty much everyone what they're looking for. Pat likes sapphires. I know she can wear a six to a seven. Um, Daisy loves lapis. 
uh, so on and so forth. I mean, she likes other things too, but I know her size. Um, Pam, I know she loves garnets. Kathy loves garnets. You know what I mean? I kind of know what everyone likes. So I pull from what my dad has in his stock and I bring it back to my house or he brings it either way. And when I know what you like, I can bring it over and it's a little bit easier if I know what you like. Um, some people like all the Native American jewelry. Some people like vintage. Some people like both. So it's always good to know what you like. So thank you for coming by tonight. I appreciate it. Um, the rose gold ring pat is 85. And it's 3.50 carats. And it's a vermeil rose gold over the sterling silver ionized and it's very nicely done i mean you can't feel it on top or it's going to get caught maybe on your nylons or tights it's very well done very well done in the prongs so i hope you guys enjoy the fine jewelry sometimes i don't know if i should sh always show fine jewelry or mix it up you know Stones are um, Arissa Rhodolite, that's the region, Garnets. Isn't that pretty? Very smooth. Look at how you can see. Let me put it against my skin. You can see that smooth. Well done. Really well done. Sorry, I'm so itchy. Um, this is, did I tell you how much it was? 85, yes. Okay, thank you, Pat. It's beautiful, really well done. It's gorgeous. And these are darker than the normal um, Arissa Rotolite garnet. So I like darker. Pretty. Thank you very much. My dad thinks you. You guys know I always write the same thing in your my thank you letters. Thank you. We always appreciate it, but we do. <laughs> Pat. Um, garnet. Rose gold. Ring. Thank you. Okay, guys, if there's anything else you want to see, I mean, it's not that late. I can show you. I've just kind of ran through what I pulled for today. But if there's a stone that you want to see, then um, very pretty. I will wear it on my largest finger. Oh, okay. It is beautiful. I mean, I like it on my – you probably will have to maybe wear it on your thumb. That would be pretty on your thumb. But I liked it on my forefinger. Um, you guys just have to tell me what you want to see, what stones. I mean, we have everything from jasper, quartz, diamond, um, <laughs> garnets, everything. Shell, abalone, coral. We're getting low on the coral, though, I will say, and abalone, because it's, it's, it's just not as available anymore. Um, I am an artist and like art deco too. Oh, I love, I'm an artist too. I paint. I don't sign my, I talk about this with Gianna. I don't sign my paintings and I wish I had, I wish I dated them too. Um, I love art deco. I really do. A vintage and boho eclectic. Okay. Okay. Oh gosh. I'm surprised you didn't like that. Um, peacock necklace, the, uh, venturing. That was very kind of Art Nouveau, Art Deco-y. I loved that braid, or, uh, that necklace. It was so pretty. So that gives me an idea, CC, and um, I'll pull some. I'll be on. I might be on tomorrow. I don't know. I'm not working as far as I know. <laughs> um, I'm a home stager, so sometimes I get called and I have to go to work. But I will... 
pull some Art Deco-y things, and I will try to come on tomorrow. And I, I didn't show you guys all the other, like, CZ rings that I have. But when I do, I'll, I'll be on tomorrow to do that. Um, and I'll give it to my mom. Oh, how nice, Pat. You're so nice. You love watching all the fine jewelry. I know. Fine jewelry is my favorite, I think. Me too. And um, Native American also. When I'm able, I'll be buying from you, Lori. You have such... Oh, thank you, Susan. Oh, Susan, I keep forgetting to go to your last pop-up. Everything's probably gone. <laughs> I was going to wear your necklace too, by the way. But it, it didn't match the earrings that I had. And I thought, well, I wanted to wear Gianna's earrings. So um, I could have worn the braided seed bead necklace I bought from you. But I wanted to wear the Native American one with this. And I took it off. But thank you, C or Susan. That's so nice. It's so, so nice. More and more from you. <laughs> That's okay, Pat. We like that. <laughs> Back through the chat, and you have a peacock daisy bot. Yes, yes. Um, oh, I just sold a peacock silver pendant that Francis got. I do, my dad has some peacock items, um, and we do have some art deco y pieces. So if I know your size, um, let me write this down again, Cece. Cece, you're a size, um, what, what size are you again? I have a few Art Deco style rings. Buddy, do you mind? Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, let's see. My favorite are Amethyst and Garnet, size seven and a half to eight. Okay, well, I have an eight. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Buddy, you need to get down. You cannot get up here. I have a gorgeous... African Amethyst Trilogy Ring, um, Susan. It's a size 8. And I don't know if you ever saw that one. It's gorgeous. If you want, I can show it to you. Or if you don't if you don't want to uh, buy it now, that's okay too. But, um, oh, you're making sets for another pop-up. Okay, that's exciting. Good. I left that last message about the peacock earlier. Just copy and paste it now. We'll go back and re-chat later. Okay. Size nine. Okay. So size nine. Okay. But I got it. Art Deco, Art Nouveau style. And Susan, you like um, Amethyst and Garnet size seven and a half to eight. Maybe I should write that down too because I thought I knew that. Seven, seven, oh, seven and a half to eight. Okay, to eight. Amethyst, garnet, got it. Size nine, okay. Um, I love, oh, I love peacock colors too. I'm a blonde and wear cool colors, size nine ring. I bead so... Make a lot of my, oh, nice. Turquoise, copper. I love all those. Turquoise, copper, lapis, opal, jade, amber. Yes. I have, oh, I don't know if Ricardo is still here, but I have a men's copper bracelet. Ricardo, if you're still here, <laughs> let me know. I love amber. Good night, Daisy. Thank you. I need to email you. I'm going to email you tomorrow for sure. That's my my day of rest for, for the most part. I will email you. Thank you for your lovely email. Okay. No problem, Susan. I know, Pat. Do you want me to send everything now? I can send everything now because you're, you're, you're probably at that bracket where everything should go maybe. I could send it on Monday. Let me know, Pat. Um, he says, I haven't seen any more pretty can't afford right now. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> named Amber and a daughter named Jade. Oh, okay. Oh, that's so nice. That's so that's great names. Good night, Daisy. Buenas noches. Mwah. I gotta learn all the different languages in 
Chakta. Well, I used to know French decently. Um, au revoir. Spanish, adios. Um, English, goodbye. In Nordic, I don't remember. <laughs> uh, I don't remember what's in Choctaw for goodbye. I got to look that up. Yeah, I don't remember. Good, good, you know, goodness. Manji, good. You know what? I, I want to see your videos. I haven't seen you lately. You're not doing lives anymore. <laughs> okay, guys, I am probably will come on tomorrow with just some bits and pieces, random things thrown together. So if I have time, I will definitely come on. I am going to sleep in. I need to meal prep for the week. Um, I need to clean. And I need to, um, well, that's it. And maybe then I'll come on. So I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow. Together with the ring I produced today, you can invoice me the new person. Send. Okay, okay, we'll do that, Pat, definitely. Okay, guys, thank you for a lovely evening. I always have so much fun with you guys on my Saturday, Friday and Saturday nights because <laughs> I don't really do anything else. <laughs> I don't do anything else. So you guys all have a very good night, very safe night, and for you, Pat, a very good day. Um Bonsoir. Bonsoir. Am I saying it right? Bonsoir. I say that to the kitties when I leave them at the cat colony. I'm like, it's not au revoir. I said au revoir, huh? Bonsoir. Okay. Bonsoir. And my mom used to teach me for thank you. It was, um, je vous remercie. Is that right? Je vous, je vous remercie. But now people just say merci. Is that right? Thank you, Cece. Thank you for coming by. I will see. Oh, bonsoir is good night. Okay. Well, bonsoir. <laughs> Adios. See y'all later. <laughs> good night. <laughs> In my country, you can say one ang. Is it one one ang? Is that right? I don't know. I'm probably not saying it right. One ang. Okay. Thank you, Susan. I love languages, you guys, and I I just seem to be terrible at them, but I do love languages. Oh, good. I said it right. One ang. <laughs> you should start saying that in your videos, Pat. That would be fun. All right, guys. Good night, everyone. Um, I will see you probably tomorrow. And um, I hope you all have a blessed night and a blessed day tonight, tomorrow, today, whatever your time zone is. And I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye, guys. But you speak English. I knew that. It's very, um, it's very much like a... The Emirates, is that how you say it? The Arab, Arabic Arab, Emirates? Yeah, same thing. We're like the only country that demands English. It's ridiculous, but. <laughs> I'm in California. So that probably explains a lot of everything. <laughs> Craziness, right? <laughs> I'm in California. So right now it is 12.05 a.m., Pacific Standard Time. And um, yes, so Pacific Standard Time. All right, guys, blessings all around. Like Susan said, I will talk to you all later and hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Bobcat says goodbye too. Oh, I did feel it, the earthquake. <laughs> oh my gosh, two of five. Okay, I'm going to let you guys go. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>